The Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk is the epitome of a modern-day intelligence complement unmanned aircraft and has remained flexible to the demands of 21st century warfare. However, it got its beginnings amidst the rising chaos of the Middle East after the September 11th attacks, when it was urgently deployed while still under development. Since their impromptu introduction, the Northrop Grumman spy drones have remained in the spotlight for providing much-needed support to the Air Force as a sidekick to manned planes and helping ground commanders make critical decisions. A potent threat that collects intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance while pilots safely fly them remotely, these state-of-the-art unmanned aircraft are the largest and most expensive drones in United States history. Still, a highly secretive project is looming over the Global Hawk, with Congress involved in a potential overhaul that could take the technology one step further. Deploying an Unmanned Aircraft the Global Hawk Project emerged in 1995 as a promising advanced concept technology demonstration, and after a thorough evaluation by the military, the system was determined to have military utility applications. According to the results, the use of the aircraft could potentially provide warfighter pilots with revolutionary high-altitude long-endurance ISR capability for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. After a developing war with other intelligence platforms, including the stealthy RQ-3 Dark Star, the military decided to focus on the Global Hawk's development due to its excellent range and payload. Finally, in March of 2001, the United States Department of Defense awarded Northrop Grumman a contract for the project's engineering and manufacturing development phase. While still in development during the September 11, 2001 attacks on U.S. soil, the military decided to deploy the aircraft to support overseas contingency operations. Still, the development and construction phases continued at the Northrop Grumman Aeronautical Facility in San Diego, and the program stage concluded in February of 2003 with the final delivery of seven pre-production vehicles. Initially designed by Ryan Aeronautical, now part of Northrop Grumman Aviation, the RQ-4 Global Hawks development was funded by the Defense Airborne Reconnaissance Office and managed by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and the U.S. Air Force. While the Ryan Aeronautical Center is the prime contractor, other leading suppliers include Raytheon Systems, Rolls-Royce, Boeing North American, and L3 Communications. The drone was developed as a high-altitude, long-endurance unmanned aircraft that has ISR capabilities thanks to a unique aerial reconnaissance system that supplies military field commanders with high-resolution, near-real-time imagery of large geographic areas. According to the U.S. Air Force, the Global Hawk's primary mission is to, quote, provide a broad spectrum of ISR collection capability to support joint combatant forces in worldwide peacetime, contingency, and wartime operations. How it works. The RQ-4N is equipped with Northrop Grumman's active electronically scanned array radar, Raytheon electro-optic and infrared sensors, and an L3 communications suite. The Global Hawk unmanned aerial vehicle system comprises the RQ-4 air vehicle with several features such as sensor packages and communication systems. A ground element, consisting of a launch and recovery element and a mission control element with ground communications equipment, completes the system. As such, the aircraft is remote controlled and uses all its capabilities via a satellite link with pilots on the ground. These pilots carry just as many responsibilities as pilots in crewed aircraft and are supplied with the same instrument data. The UAV's long range and more than 28-hour endurance allow tremendous flexibility in meeting mission requirements, offering a wide variety of employment options. The drone can survey up to 40,000 square miles of terrain per day, an area the size of Iceland or South Korea. In addition, the aircraft's design has continued to evolve due to four contract blocks that include several updates as the years go by. In fact, the seven Block 10 aircraft that were initially procured in 2003 have already been retired since 2011. Block 40, the latest of the models, came out of a contract awarded in 2014 and became operational in 2016. 
The model carries the radar technology insertion program, an active electronically scanned array radar that provides even more detailed data. With a total wingspan of 130 feet, the RQ-4 Global Hawks Block 30 and Block 40 are the United States' largest unmanned aircraft, more than twice the size of the Fairchild Republic A-10C Thunderbolt II subsonic attack aircraft. The U.S. drone is also its most expensive, with Block 40 costing up to $233 million. Operational history. The aircraft set its first world record while still in its development phase. On April 24, 2001, a Global Hawk successfully flew non-stop from Edwards Air Force Base in California to Royal Australian Air Force Base Edinburgh in Southeast Australia, becoming the first unmanned aircraft to cross the Pacific Ocean. This 22-hour flight also set the world record for absolute distance flown by an unmanned aerial vehicle at 8,214.44 miles. Going back to its introduction, the Global Hawk has been used in the war in Afghanistan, in the Iraq War, and in other non-combat-related events. The Global Hawks deployed in the United States Central Command's area of responsibility, which includes the Middle East, some parts of Africa, Central Asia, and parts of South Asia, have amassed 30,000 combat hours in over 1,500 sorties by 2010. And by 2014, 32 out of the 42 active Global Hawks worldwide were being used by the United States Air Force. That same year, two RQ-4s from Anderson Air Force Base in Guam to Misawa Air Base in Japan focused the missions on maritime patrol sorties. And in August 2014, the Global Hawk participated in Operation Inherent Resolve, the international military intervention against the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. During the operation, which included both a campaign in Iraq and a campaign in Syria, with a closely related campaign in Libya, the aircraft provided real-time imagery and intelligence. In addition, the aircraft was able to identify friendly and enemy forces, perform long-term target development, and track enemy equipment movement, allowing ground commanders to act on more reliable information and make critical decisions. What's more, despite its many public sorties, the Global Hawk frequently performs covert missions. One of them included an alleged reconnaissance flight off the coast of southern Crimea in April of 2021, around an area that Russia had temporarily closed for up to 62,000 feet. Red Flags Over the years, the aircraft's data collection capabilities have been praised as revolutionary for their time, but the program lost three prototype aircraft to accidents, more than a quarter of the aircraft used in the wars. In June of 2012, a media report written by the Bloomberg study described the MQ-1 Predator, the MQ-9 Reapers, and the Global Hawk as, quote, the most accident-prone aircraft in the Air Force fleet. According to Brendan McGarry of Bloomberg, the Global Hawk had an overall accident rate of 15.16 per 100,000 flight hours. In a period of 15 years, up to September 30, 2011, the Air Force officially recorded 129 accidents involving Predators, Reapers, or Global Hawks. Nevertheless, and despite the public outcry and budget cuts, the Air Force announced a $114 million contract in 2013 to build three more Global Hawk surveillance aircraft. However, the unmanned aerial vehicle has still been involved in several more accidents during the following years because of technical errors. Most recently, on August 6, 2021, a Block 40 Global Hawk drone crashed several miles away from Grand Forks Air Force Base, North Dakota. New Applications In addition to the work with the U.S. Air Force, the unmanned aerial vehicle has also been used by the Navy, NASA, and other international collaborators. The Navy received two RQ-4A air vehicles in 2005 and was granted a $1.16 billion contract three years later to develop a naval variant after winning a broad area maritime surveillance unmanned aerial vehicle competition. In September of 2010, the RQ-4N was officially named by the Navy as the Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton. The Navy variant differs from the Air Force RQ-4 mainly in its wing, which is specifically designed to take the stresses of rapidly decreasing altitude. 
While the common global hawk flies at a high altitude to conduct surveillance missions, the Triton climbs to 50,000 feet to overlook a wide area and can quickly drop to 10,000 feet to get more detailed information on a target. Triton flies over vast ocean and coastal regions, performs continuous maritime surveillance, conducts search and rescue missions, and acts as an overall complement to the Navy's Boeing P-8 Poseidon maritime patrol aircraft. The Global Hawk is currently operated by Australia, NATO, Korea, and as recently as March of 2022 by Japan, with its newest capability including a modernized ground station under the GSMP modernization program. Still, a replacement for the drone seems to be in its early development, but remains a secretive project of which little is known. A replacement. On May 7, 2021, Air Force General Charles Brown, the service's chief of staff, spoke before the House Appropriations Committee to seek approval to remove all Block 20 and 30 Global Hawk drones from the U.S. arsenal, a total of 24 aircraft. According to David Nahome, U.S. Air Force Deputy Chief of Staff for Plans and Programs, the Global Hawk fleet is no longer survivable against modern air defenses, particularly from China. The Air Force's request, which the service has been pushing for since 2012, would leave RQ-4 Block 40s and the U-2 spy plane to conduct all Air Force high-altitude surveillance operations. However, the U.S. Congress blocked the retirement of the RQ-4 unless Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin could certify that the divestment of the older drones would not prevent combatant command from accomplishing their missions, and that the replacement will be worth any increased operation and sustainment costs. The successor to the RQ-4 Global Hawk and its replacement is coming, but not swiftly, and could be available for service late this decade. When asked about the drone's replacement, Nahom refused to share any details of this highly classified project. Still, Nahom tried to assure Congress that while the threat can seem overwhelming, the United States has its own advantages, mainly in alliances and partnerships that other world powers, namely Russia and China, do not possess. As Northrop Grumman Global Hawk Vice President Leslie Smith put it, quote, Global Hawk is a critical asset that delivers vital data to U.S. forces and allies 24-7, 365. Thank you for watching our Dark Tech video. Please let us know your thoughts about this ever-evolving aircraft in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels. Stay tuned.